Amen. Mookie. Hey, everybody. It's Gabby Trish. It is a special Michael Monday. It's Labor Day. It is September 4th, and I thought it is long overdue just to have some type of Michael Jackson recap of some kind. And Spike Lee, I think, absolutely, black parties probably have to be the ultimate highlight of the season because, one, it's centered more around Michael's birthday, a.k.a. Michael Jackson Day, and it just has, it just has more of a celebratory type feel. So, as you can see from the opening, Spike Lee has done it again. These these um, block parties are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes, people, that was Rosie Perez hosting with Spike Lee. Now, I will be totally honest. I did not. I wasn't there for the majority of the event. I had a medical issue I had to deal with. But, thanks to my awesome YouTube friend and Michael Jackson's sister, Honey Dashe, she actually had some amazing footage for me and I appreciate that because like people don't understand like what it takes for this whole Michael Jackson ecosystem to happen especially for the tri-state area. Shout out to Spike Lee and shout out to the sponsors I believe it was JetBlue and Netflix and I'm sure there were other people that made this possible um, but I Really appreciate Spike Lee for everything he does for Michael Jackson's legacy. I find it to be unbelievably epic. You couldn't tell me, you know, almost 10 years later, you know, this would still be going on. If anybody is from New York or the Tri-State area, usually when things like, like this, when people pass away, people are like, they're all big on something for a year, six months to a year, and it's over. No, the Moonwalker magic is still going and going and going, and it's great. And you see that type of love and energy at a Spike Lee party. You see it in the signage. I remember when I was going down to the block party, um, you know, I wasn't sure if I was in the right direction, but then I started seeing pink signs with Michael Jackson's fa uh, face and fans' hands, and I'm like, Clearly, I'm in the right direction. Then I started seeing people with Michael Jackson t-shirts and costumes. And then I started hearing the music. And it's those little details, those little things that makes these events amazing. Everything Spike has ever done for Michael's legacy, whether it's from the block parties, the uh, documentaries, it, it, it shows that he too appreciates the, the little details that Michael had in his work. So it's great when you see it being spread throughout the fans and the support. It's just, oh, it's magic. Like, don't don't ever take for granted these things happening in New York or anything that's happening. This takes a lot of work. I also wanted to give a shout out to some of the moonwalkers that have been standing out this year. I'm going to start with Rochelle from Ready Rochelle. She is that fan that you have been seeing for the last couple of years with these epic, epic outfits. Now, believe it or not, she makes her own outfits from scratch. She's, no one's ever taught her. She's taught herself. And this year, she recently won first prize for best outfit. She had, she dressed up as Michael um, from The Wiz. Like, oh my goodness. I, Rochelle, wherever you are on YouTube, please come back. We miss you. I would also like to give another shout out to Arnstar. Um, he is um, doing music, commercials, and as you can see him on the stage, um, courtesy of DJ Spinner, who was also the DJ and also taped this amazing clip, he is ready. So please make sure you follow him. I've known him for years now, and I, every time I see him, I just show him love because he's just, his energy is just that beautiful. And last but not least, I would like to give a, a shout out to Leah, who is a moonwalker. And, uh, she's an extra in Spike Lee's She's Gotta Have It, uh, streaming on Netflix um, on Thanksgiving this year. So look out for Leah. We met Leah during the book signing for Latoya Jackson, and now she's acting. So shout out to these special moonwalkers. We are so happy that you are growing. Also shout out to Honey Dashe that provided... The footage for me, she her channel is over 30,000 subscribers. She is like probably the realest YouTuber I follow. So make sure you subscribe to her channel. You actually see, we've done actually some collaborations together. And hopefully we'll be doing more, honey. 
Hint, hint. All right, guys, I'm out on that note. I miss you. Hopefully, I can start doing a weekly schedule here. And um, I think that's it for now. Bye. Don't forget, we have one more big event before the season's over. Tim Burton, Michael Jackson theme party. Tickets are in the description bar.